Hey y'all, it's your girl Keisha. Welcome to a walk in the fat woman's shoes. I'm doing my solo dolo tonight. Um, uh, tonight I have for you guys just some shrimp and sausage, and I'm drinking on that good old H2O. Y'all know, even though Big Gertie's not here, she will do what? Save you in a crisis. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. And how to get a big girl, a big swole, or a big baby, or even a male baby will be in the description box below. So you're going to click that link and order to yourself. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and say my grace and I'll get into it. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the new box. I see you. That's your name. Just prepare for the meal. Amen. Amen. So what's going on with you guys tonight? Let me know what you're eating and if you're eating with me. Also, let me know what's going on in y'all nigga the woods. How's your brother treating it? And what y'all did today? Y'all know I want to know I'm nosy. I'm nosy. Y'all know I'm nosy. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I say, I just have some uh, shrimp and sausage and drinking on that good old age tool. That's about it. So what's going on with you guys tonight? Let me know what you're eating. You know, y'all know I'm nosy. So anyway, I just uh, sauteed some shrimp. These are jumbo size shrimp and some Polish, well, posta, Polish kielbasa sausage, and I just uh, sauteed it in some butter. That's about it. Nothing fancy. I've been trying not to eat carbs, you know. And I have a little green onion sprinkled on here. Be even so. How y'all been? What y'all been up to today? Me personally, um, I'm doing good. My vitals, my sugar, everything, everything is good. And I can't complain about that, you hear me, at all. At all. And I'm not. I just thought I'd get a little cute for y'all to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I'd get a little cute for y'all to do. I ain't had nothing else to do, so. I have on some blush, though. All I have on is lip gloss, lipstick, and blush. That's, oh, and night That's it. No other makeup or anything like that. But when I was growing up, at all I grew up with blush. Well, I grew up with other makeup, but at the same time, all I see my mama put on is blush, lip gloss, lipstick, and that's it. She ain't even put on lashes. My mama had she had beautiful, thick, long lashes. So that's the only addition to what I, you know, what I saw growing up that I did was the lashes. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't know if y'all can see. My weight loss starting to happen. It's it's gradually happening. It's happening slow, but it's happening. Um I um I'm going back to carnivore. With the exception of just using Onion, garlic, you know, onion, garlic, green onions, you know, for just babies, basically like for like flavor. That's about it. More than that, I'm going back to carnivore because one is easier. It's uh, I'm a person that like meat. I like meat so. I don't feel like it's gonna hurt me or anything. But um I've been doing it. I've been doing it since uh I believe like November fifth. I started November fifth. 
and instead of doing it for weight loss, I'm going to do it for weight loss, see how it's going. But everything else is overall health. I'm going to let my body heal before I start worrying about weight loss. You know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like my body been sick for so long, you know, to where something new comes into play, your body has to heal, you know. And I'm going to be doing it more than a month. I'm going to start off at three months and everything, but after that, you know, if this is, you know, if this is working for me, which I believe it will, I'm going to continue to keep going. But, um, and maybe after three months, three, four months, I might start incorporating vegetables. I'm not sure because I don't know. Because I don't know some vegetable or whatever that I'm eating is constantly causing me bloat. It causes me bloat and it makes me just, I'm just so just disgusted. You know, so, I don't know. But at the same time, this is what I'm doing, people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Always trying to eat. Always. You know. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. Tomorrow I might. I might eat a steak. Because I don't know, for some reason, I'm just craving steak. Steak and deviled eggs. I don't know why, but I just really want steak and deviled eggs. So, I just might eat that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to the store tomorrow, so, you know, I'm going to go look for a nice little steak, you know. Ain't gonna be too bad. Hmm. This is really good. Really, really good. I want to do the beef, bacon, butter, eggs for about two weeks. I don't know, I may still do it, not in the beginning, but I may still do it, like, for two weeks while I'm doing carnivore, but right now, you know, I'm trying to get my seafood out the way, you know, I mean, I ain't never gonna not put shrimp in my fridge, you know, I'm always a shrimp, you know. But right now, I'm just trying to eat my little shrimp because you know what? I still have shrimp from from it. This is 14 shrimp and 14 sausage. So, yeah. That's basically, I counted it up, 14, 14. And, um, I was thinking about making me again, another egg and shrimp salad. And this time, I don't need to put the cucumbers or nothing like that in it. And I do have, I do have a short that I wanted to put up of my egg, 
crumpy egg salad, but that's on a that's on a low carb tortilla and everything. So you know, I'll still probably put that up tomorrow because tonight I'm putting this up. I'll probably put that up for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow show. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to be putting it on uh, the Keach TV. Sorry, y'all. Um, now, I thought it was like me doing this carnivore and worrying about weight, but not worrying about weight. At the end of each month for these three months, I weigh myself because I'm not about to worry about the scale. Let me tell you something. I had to really break up with the scale. And when I tell y'all, it was hurt. It was hard. It was painful. It was. It really was. Because it was like that because for the mere fact that every day, all day long, all day long, I'm weighing myself. If I go up a pound, I'm sad. I'm depressed. Um, I go down a pond, I'm happy, I'm giddy, I'm all that, you know, or, you know, not thinking, okay, this is, this is, this is water weight, come on, this is water weight, you know, so basically, I just say, you know what, I ain't even, I ain't even about to play with myself, you know, so I gotta let you go, and that's just, you know, I told this girl, I said, you know what, I love you. But I got to let you go because you're messing with my mental and you're messing with my mental in the worst way because, you know, you're basically taking me up and down. You know, one minute I'm happy, one minute I'm sad. One minute I want to jump for joy, the next minute I want to cry. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have time for that. You know, I slipped up. I'm, 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 I'm 353. And it's like... Some minutes I'm 353. Then when I get on the scale, I'm 353.6. Next minute when I get on the scale, I'm 352. I keep bouncing from 353 to 352. And I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Let's do something. So I decided, you know, go back to Carnival. Go back to Carnival. Because, yeah, I didn't have no tremendous weight loss. In carnivore, but at the same time, my mental clarity was just awesome. My memory started coming back with a vengeance, you hear me? Because I was having memory loss, you know, fogginess, you know, stuff like that, you know. Um, I even had a uh, episode where I didn't know who anybody in this house was, you know what I'm saying? And I was scared, you know, and... When I did carnivore, just for those 30 days, you know, everything, you know, it, it's like everything fell into place. Everything was just better. Everything was good, you know. The mental, you know, the mental well-being, the, the memory, you know what I'm saying, the aches, the pains. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've always had back pain, and I think I ain't ever going to get rid of back pain because I've even had back pain when I was a small person. I had back pain when I was 140 pounds, so, you know, I don't think that's ever going to go anywhere. But, you know, I know my rheumatoid arthritis. My rheumatoid, I still arthritis on my knees. I know I did that because of my weight, you know, because I ain't going to lie. I used to walk football fields going to school, you know what I'm saying? The equivalent of a football field going to school, you hear me? And it's like, you know, I'm walking now and everything. Even though, when I walk, you know, when I walk, they joke about how I look like a little person. You know, they told me, you know, Curtis and Mel was working me. They was like, Mama, you really look like a little person walking. And I don't turn around like everybody else. You know how they walk and they just turn. I walk and I go around. I, he was like, Curtis was like, Mama. You know, you just made a whole U-turn. I'm like, really? 
You just gonna really rib me like that, really? I'm your mama. You just, and then she jumping, you know, and then they start ribbing me about how I'm walking and everything. But I'm like, you know what? At least I'm doing it. At least I'm doing it because y'all, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. The laziness, the laziness had kicked in in your girl, and I wasn't doing shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I wasn't doing shit, you hear me? But now, I'm walking. I don't mind walking. I told Mel, I said I might uh, get out there on the grill, you know, tomorrow and everything. She was like, yeah, whatever. Because, see, I, I've never I've never uh, actually got on the grill and grilled anything. That's going to be an adventure. So, uh, I, I think I am going to do that tomorrow. I'm going grill to grill my steak. And uh, the rest of the little shrimp that I have left, I think I'm going to do that. Um... And uh, I said, do we have taco? She said, I have taco. I said, what can I use? She was like, no. I'm like, you don't even be grinning. She was like, it don't matter. I said, mean, it's probably so old. It's probably dust. She was like, oh, well, this is my dust. I'm like, all right. All right. All right, that girl. I said, all right, that girl. But, um, anyway, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I want to. I want to grill. I'm nervous. But I've seen her do it enough to where as I believe I know what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to grill me a steak and uh, grill me some shrimp. I don't know, you know, if I do it, y'all, I'm going to do a video, if I don't do it, I'm going to let y'all know I ain't do it, but I'm going to let y'all know how I did it, you know, if you just see the steak and shrimp in front of me without the video, y'all know, y'all know I didn't grill, <laughs> but I think I'm going to do a video um, grilling, so, yeah, y'all just be looking out for that, be looking out for it. Cause I'm telling y'all, that's gonna be an adventure. It's gonna be an adventure because I don't know what I'm doing, but at the same time, it don't hurt to learn. You hear me? And I know how encouraging and Terrell, they all gonna be out there messing with a bitch. But you know what? It's okay. Cause guess what? I ain't gonna need your help. I ain't gonna need your help when I'm on grill or something. Unless she gonna start getting snippy about it being her grill. Cause I told her, I said, I wanna buy a grill. I said, but if I get a grill, you already know what kind of grill it's gonna be. It ain't gonna be nothing. It's gonna be an outdoor microwave. You know, the propane grill, you know. The gas grill because I don't know nothing about, you know, I don't know nothing about grilling. And to me, I just feel like that's easier. It's still grilled, but you don't have that. The only problem with that is that you don't have that charcoal smell. Taste. I, I love the smell of charcoal when it's, you know, when it's burning, you know. And then when you throw meat on there, like indirectly or whatever, and you close that grill, once you open it, that whiff of that, uh, the meat plus that, uh, the charcoal briquettes, you know what I'm saying? And then the wood, because she, she used apple wood. And everything I'm telling you, the smell of that is just intoxicating. And I am just I just really want me a grilled steak. You know, I want a grilled steak. And, you know, I've been doing my own thing. You know, I haven't been having her cook for me and stuff because, you know, she be complaining. You know, so don't complain, baby. I'm doing my own thing, girl. Don't complain, baby, I'm doing my stuff, you hear me? So, 
yeah, I'm gonna uh, just, I'm gonna start doing my own thing. Uh, anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come eat my little shrimp and sausage with y'all. And talk with y'all a little bit, let y'all know what I'm doing. So if y'all see me eating like two steaks or whatever, or just a lot of meat, or uh, like several uh, hamburger patties or whatever, that's what I'm doing. And I've been eating, uh, I've been actually eating one meal a day. One meal a day. I ate two meals the other day when I ate uh, the meatballs. I had had meatballs earlier and I had ate something else. Every now and again, I eat two meals, but for the most part, I've been doing one meal a day, and I mean, that's good, you know, and it's like, I'm back with sugar cravings. I'm, I'm back with that because uh, a few weeks ago, I had a snicker, you know, and, you know, and I had peppermints, peppermints, yes, I did. But uh, even so, you know, I'm back with the sugar cravings and uh, Mel has gotten rid of all my sweets, right? She was like, don't buy Alonzo no sweets until he gets you. Because you know how he is. Because if Alonzo see me eating something sweet, he having a fit. Man, you know you ain't supposed to be eating that because this, 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 this. That little boy goes, oh, you hear me? He's like, Nanny, I told you, I want you here with me, Nanny. I want you to be here with me when I grow up and I get a girlfriend and I get a wife and I go to college. And I'm like, all right, baby, all right. He's like, so, Nanny, you know what you got to do? I'm like, yeah, baby, I know what I got to do. So, you know, and uh, I don't want I don't want to keep depriving my churn and mail of the gift that is me. <laughs> I don't want to keep depriving them. I don't want to deprive them of me, you know, not being here because I'm being selfish. You know what I'm saying? And uh, wanting to eat and eat my life away. So, you know, like I say, it's not coming off as fast as I would hope, but it's coming off. And I'm feeling better. And eating like this is helping with my vitals, with my sugar. Well, you know, I mean, it's helping. It's helping with a lot of aches and pains. Don't get me wrong, you know. I still have my aches and pains, you know, but it's getting better, you know. You know, I think, I believe, and I know, when I first watched the video from Dr. Ken Berry, I knew it was going to change my life in a way, but I didn't think it was going to change my life this way. Do you know, I go to sleep listening to, um, I have a playlist of Dr. Barry's carnivore, um, carnivore videos, and I listen to it, and I, uh, it, it's like, sub, it's like uh, subliminal, but it, it's not subliminal because he's telling you straight out what you need to do and how you need to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I listen to it so it can be instilled in my mental while I'm asleep, while I'm woke. Man, look, man, I'll tell you every day I have to have at least two, at least two, two videos of Dr. Bear, Laura Spat. Joe Rogan, you know, I have to have at least two videos of them, you know, and I just was watching um, my playlist with Laura Spat, you know, Spat, I'm sorry, and uh, yeah, I was just watching that, and you know, I mean, these people have had success, you know, with it, and I know there's a lot of other people that's had success with it, but you know, since I, you know, wanted to delve in the realm of carnivore, those were the people that, you know, were influential to me. You know, um, I'm never going to forget my girl, you know, Keto Licious Ness, because she was a person that started me wanting to do keto, you know, because she made it look so easy, you know what I'm saying? And 
she showed you that, you know, she's human, you know, she fuck up and then she get back up there, you know what I'm saying, she don't give up, you know, and stuff like that, you know, just watching people, you know, on here that's had success stories, you know, every now and again, I would get uh, depressed saying, why I can't have that, what's wrong with me, what's going on, why I can't get that, you know, and the thing about it, I had to get out of my head and say, why you can't, you can have that just like everybody else, all you got to do is get up off your ass and do it, get up off your ass and make it happen, you know, and that's what I'm doing, you know, and I am so proud of myself. You know, I can pat myself on the back. I'm proud of myself for that because I'm telling y'all, the devil comes to seek and destroy. And I'm telling you, he was almost there in my mental with that bullshit. You hear me? And... Baby, get thee behind me, Satan, because guess what? We will not have that. We shall not have that anymore. No lies of God, but we're going to throw that away. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this for everybody that's listening out there that's going through uh, ups and downs with their weight loss. We got this. I've been saying we got this ever since I started on uh, YouTube in 2017. We got this. We gonna get through it. We gonna do what we got to do. We gonna say fuck anybody that don't like it. You may wanna do carnivore. You may wanna do keto. You may wanna do low carb. You may wanna do uh, paleo. You may wanna do vegan. Whichever float your boat that's gonna get you where you need to be, do it. Fuck what the naysayers think and keep it pushing. You heard me? Oh, you know what? Just don't tell nobody what you're doing until you see results. Because people will have something to say. Now, once they see results, they see you losing weight. What you doing, girl? What you did? What you did? Oh, I went carnivore. I went keto. I went vegan. I went paleo. I went low carb, you know. Really? And you lost that much weight? You look good. This is that other. But don't tell them what you're doing before you do it because a lot of people are very discouraging. They are very, very discouraging. And the way of the world, people are very, very discouraging. You know, they will tell you all kind of shit to fuck you off, to hurt you, to make you feel less than just because they either feel in some kind of way or they want you to feel some kind of way about what you're doing. Telling you how it's not good for you. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. This is that and the other blase blase. You know what I'm saying? This is that and the third. I'm here to tell you. You got this. We got this. And we gonna get this. You heard me? And with that being said, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Because I don't want to keep talking y'all head off. But anyway, I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with the girl. And until next time, we're going to plant you down and dig your leader. Because I know y'all can pick up what I just put down. You heard me? Peace, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Always. Later, guys.